Today we're going to learn how to create a basic function box using Active Inspire and Restrictors. I'm starting off with just three shapes that I made using the shape tools and I'm going to just line them up like it is a function box. Now we know in everyday mathematics the function box where it takes a number, it pushes it through a function, and then it exports a number or the answer as well. So today when we make our Thing. We're going to first start off with our three boxes. I'm going to group them all together just so they're not moving around for me. So if I group them, if I were to select them all, then I could group my objects. So now they're going to stay together for me and not separate. Now I'm going to start off, it's fairly simple. We're going to create a slide that has two numbers, such as if we were to put in the number 20, and we were to export the number 25. Now the number that you're putting in is going to be in black, so we're going to start on this side, and the number that's exporting we're just going to make in the color that we are exporting, but it has to make sure that it is the same color. So let's see, now our number kind of hides in there. So we have our 20 in black. When we export our number, it comes out as a 25. Now, so that we can get it so that it stays together, we're going to, going to use restrictors. So we have our numbers. Then we're going to go to the property browser. We're going to go down to restrictors. Let's see. Okay, so we have it highlighted. We're going to go property browser. We're going to go down to restrictors. And we're going to restrict it so that it can only move horizontally. So we have restrictors can move horizontally. So now our, and let's see, we can make it so that it stays the same size. Now when we click on it, it will not move up and down, but only go back and forth. Now you could also create restrictors so that it won't go out over the edges, but we'll learn how to do that at a later time. Thanks for watching.